Hi everyone, uh, my name is Norman. Um, welcome to Eco Training um, Trekking Series with Norman. So today we'll be discussing um, different um, dung of um, different animals. So we'll be covering a warthog, we'll be covering um, giraffe dung, um, as well as um, elephant um, dung. Right here, we have a beautiful palette from um, one of my favorite animals that you almost see everywhere in Impala. So when we trek, we're not only focusing on like, you know, the spoor or track of animal, but we rather focus on like signs, feeding signs, um, um, an animal where they um, defecate, um, a rubbing post or an, um, any um, thing that will clearly indicate that a certain species of animal was there. Um, anal um, pasting it's one of them um, so if you look around here so this looks almost like you know um, a bullet you know for like a nine millimeter and right here it's a midden so it's all impala ramps coming together and defecating in one spot um, within their territory they'll have m m more than one uh, midden where they will utilize okay so if you look here, females or ewes, if I may call them, and their calf will just defecate around um, those um, specific spots made by rams. Right here, we have a, a beautiful dung from um, an elephant. Um, okay, one thing that I'm saying it's an elephant, I see around here, there's been like elephant signs and the small dung around here. But specifically, when I'm looking at this dung, um, I'm looking at someone or an animal that, you know, the, the, their digestive system is very poor. So only 40 to 45 percent of what they eat will be digested. So you, you still have like, you know, you can see it's an animal that was feeding on this um, tree that I'm not sure what it is. But you can see the thing um, came out like, you know, the same way it went through. Um, I can see this reddish color outside of this dung, um, which tells me that, um, especially du uh, during this time in winter, elephant or uh, special elephant will focus more on like you know browsing. So basically, feeding on um, um, twigs of like different um, species of um, plants or trees, um, which it turns out like you know this reddish color here it's a tannin on the plant. So. Um, earlier on, I mentioned um, one of the bird which I see the track here, the zazu or the hornbill, that sometimes they will flick the dung because there's something underneath there. So if I open there, yeah, so you see we have some um, termites, the fungus growing termites here, um, already um, working on this um, elephant dung, which I find really, really, really incredible because basically this means um, in our ecosystem there's no waste okay so i'm gonna close it again so they can carry on with their um, work right here in front of me i have a beautiful pellets or droppings of um, um, one of our tallest animal giraffe yeah um, so while it's a giraffe size it's 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 it's, it's about right if you look up close here um, and think about the size and the height of the animal. So it's a very tall animal. So when the um, animal defecate their pellets, what tend to happen because they're still fresh and like, you know, um, has moist. So when they get to the ground, everything gets squashed like you see here. And they end up having this little hole, um, you know, something like that. Um, this is actually not really the norm that you find everything um, in one place. They generally um, defecate their dung or droppings whilst um, traveling. Right here, it's a very, very beautiful um, dung of um, a warthog. Why I'd say it's a warthog? So it has a shape um, a bit almost like a kidney. Yeah. And if you look in some of these pellets, um, they look like, you know, it's a marshmallow um, dung, yes, I mean shape. And if 
I go ahead, like break this. What you see as well, it's it's evidence of like you know um, the roots from um, grass that um, this warthog was feeding on. So basically rhizomes and um, grass material. There we go. You see, and some of the stuff um, are not really digested. So warthog, same as an elephant digestive system. It's not. Um, much effective as much as you get with something like you know a kudu and impala which are the ruminant so basically um food go um through like four different um, um chambered stomach whilst with this animal it's just like you know one okay thank you um just remember um please like um our page and also um click the bell for notification and also please subscribe um, so you, you can get more information or you can get notification when there's a new series. Thank you.